US and China commit to take strong climate action. The United States and China have made strong commitments to fight climate change. The two countries are the world's largest economies and are also responsible for the largest carbon emissions, which contribute to the warming of the Earth. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres welcomed the important commitments made towards climate action by the US and China. He hailed US President Jose Biden's announcement that the US would significantly increase its international climate finance to approximately $11.4 billion a year. This increased contribution from the United States will bring developed countries closer to meeting their collective commitment to mobilize $100 billion a year in climate finance, the UN chief said. He also welcomed a commitment made by China's President Xi Jinping. The Chinese president told the UN General Assembly that his country is committed to maintaining harmony between man and nature, we need to accelerate the transition to a green and low-carbon economy, and achieve green economy and development, Xi said. He said China will not build new coal-fired power projects abroad. China will strive to peak carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060, Xi said. The commitments made by the United States and China are welcomed but Gefteres said that there is still a long way to go to achieve the goals set by the planned International Conference on Climate Change to take place in Glasgow, the United Kingdom, from October 31 to November 12. The UK government has appealed to rich countries to donate a total of $100 billion a year starting from 2020 to help poor countries adapt to and mitigate climate change. The conference is considered a critical test to consolidate cooperation between rich and poor countries to implement the Paris Climate Change Agreement signed in 2015. It will bring together the 197 members to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC to implement the goal of limiting global temperature rise to 1.5 Celsius degrees. To reach that goal, Paris Agreement signers will have to adapt to a new era of climate impacts and financially support developing nations to build low carbon and resilient economies. In coming together to agree to the $100 billion pledge, the world's richest countries made an historic commitment to the world's poorest, we now owe it to them to deliver on that, the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said in New York while he attended the UN General Assembly session. Richer nations have reaped the benefits of untrammeled pollution for generations, often at the expense of developing countries. As those countries now try to grow their economies in a clean, green and sustainable way we have a duty to support them in doing so, with our technology, with our expertise and with the money we have promised, he said. To stay up to date with the latest news on the United Nations and the world, make sure to subscribe to this Facebook account by clicking the button above this video. See you next time.